Hello everyone. Uh, this is uh, Ajay Kumar. One one second, standing in front of you, I have brought uh, uh, how to evaluate uh, CBSE OMR sheet. Uh, it's evaluation for CBSE term one examination. So many friends uh, they asked me in the comments or when your next video is coming. Then I thought of uh, giving a guideline. Uh, not I am not giving the guideline. What is the CBSE guideline? Is there I can present in front of you so that it will be helpful for all my friends, uh, those who are going to be uh, evaluating. So this video is for uh, evaluator, uh, observer, and uh, invigilator. I mean assistant superintendent. So for them, this video will be helpful for uh, the people. So uh, at the beginning of this video, I'd like to thank everyone for your support. Because of your support, uh, this channel, it's your channel, uh, is eligible for uh, YouTube monetization. So thank you from the core of my heart. So without wasting time, let us start uh, uh, the today's uh, program. So as we can see here, so I want to take you uh, to my uh, slide. So uh, we can see here, this is our uh, OMR sheet. In this OMR sheet, three parts are there. So this is part one, part two, and part three. So already in my last video, I have told you. So today's our main thing is that how to go for evaluation. And there are some things I will be telling you at the end of this uh, topic also. So let me take uh, part by part. First, I will take first part, then second part and third part. Okay. So let me take you to the uh, first part. Yes. The first part is on the screen. So in this part, as the CBSC has given and already some schools, uh, they have completed uh, one or two examinations. So it will be not be difficult for them. So the school, those who are going to conduct for the first time. So you can see here. So uh, this part, this is completely uh, pre-printed, the student's data uh, starting from roll number, and its letter, uh, the date and uh, a name, uh, exam center name, exam center code and name, subject and subject code, next uh, name, father's name and the school detail. This is everything will be pre-printed. I don't want to waste your time in my last video also I have told you. Say one thing you can see here this OMR number the magic of this OMR number you will find that what you'll find okay so my screen was some problem i had some problem okay what you'll find you can see here this first three digit and the next remaining things here of course it is given different the first three digit is the subject core and remaining all other number this all other number is your roll number, is the roll number of the candidate. Of course, here something different it is given here. It is not matching. But when we'll open, uh, already I have experience because I am also the uh, I am also here in the school. I am the deputy superintendent. So as I have noticed, the first three number, this first three number is subject code, and remaining all other numbers is the roll number. What I have noticed in the last uh, two three examination. Okay. Next uh, here, and uh, this is not uh, necessary. And here uh, below barcode also, the sa this same number will be the here. And here, the students will write uh, the question paper code number and the uh, invigilators. While we are invigilating, we should be very careful that students must write uh, the question paper question paper code number here. This is very important. Invigilators must take care. And uh, the roll number of the student must be written on the question paper. This is the first thing that invigilator should do. Next, this is that these things are, are not required. Let me take you to the uh, next slide. Yes, this plays a very important role. And uh, first time I want to tell the instruction for the invigilators that invigilator wh while the students are answering, they must answer they must answer the OMR sheet. This, this all, all are OMR. They must uh, darken, I mean, encircle or bubble. Then they must write the option in the box. If they are skipping, they must write here. This, this care must be taken by the invigilators. So invigilator means assistant superintendent. You must uh, take care of these things in the, in the classroom itself. While the students are writing, you should help them, not telling the answer. You should help them how to attempt on OMR. Okay, so if uh, in between if they are skipping any question so this this box must be darkened so this this omr this circle must be darkened in the box answer must be written 
and you know the all these things you must guide the student they should not do any type of mistake so if there any doing any mistake then that will be uh, very uh, difficult for the students to uh, get the mark now the topic comes for the evaluators so there are so many friends they ask me how to evaluate so dear dear friends for evaluation we'll be using the first uh, this one okay this column i want to show you here yes so this this column this is called question number question number question number column and this is omr column this is uh, answer writing box and this is uh, what you call skipping so here also this is uh, question number box so while we are evaluating with answer key answer key will be given i mean it is coming from cbse and the center so superintendent they will give the answer key so what will happen uh, near to that question will give a very small tick can you see question number one question number two also very small tick question number three very small tick question number four very small tick if it is correct okay if it is wrong then you have to give very small cross very small cross tick according to the answer key so remember keep that small tick should be inside the box it should not go to it should not come towards omr because omr will be read by the machine and there are i i thought uh, i i got actual information it's maybe correct or wrong i don't know so some uh, some evaluators they have given tick and cross in the box with the handwritten answer don't do that one this box this handwritten box is only for writing alphabet a b c d if anything is written the machine may not read that one the students will be in the trouble so this is the correct uh, method uh, i hope all of you got clear idea so uh, if anything ufm unfair means if it is coming all of you know you can see my previous video and there are many people uh, even cbse has given also a very good guideline so we can see that one so if if any unfair mean means comes how to how to get rid of means what to do in this case so in this case we can take the help of a center superintendent what the procedure must be done so still if you have doubt means you can see my number is here you can contact me you can you can comment me also here i will i will help you what the next procedure to do the next thing is that this evaluation process the invigilators must take care how the students will be attempting uh, attempting correctly and don't uh, don't uh, don't uh, do any wrong things that will affect the career of the students okay these are the things and remember evaluation the evaluators will be using what ink i have used red ink okay the red ink will be used by the evaluator so next uh, this is i think it is clear i don't want to make this video very long next this is the last part this is the uh, yes all of you know that in this box the students will write the exactly uh, same sentence they will write here and after that their signature will be here with running hand that that uh, the evaluator sorry uh, invigilators means assistant superintendent in the classroom itself they must guide the student and of course uh, this this box in this box correct correct answers not the mark only the correct what is the tick mark is given a final you will calculate that one and that will be written with what ink red ink only because it is it will be done by the evaluators so they will write with what red ink suppose it is coming 25 so then it must be written with what red ink only and this box will be written by the students with blue or black ballpoint pen what is with the students yes next thing is that it will be uh, the work of the coordinator and you know that coordinator will be using coordinator will be using what ink i think you can recognize what ink this is the ink used by the coordinator okay so then finally this box uh, you can see here yes signature and identification number here in this box invigilator signature will be there and identification number evaluator signature identification number coordinator signature identification number finally observer signature and identification number so i am using the ink so that you can uh, recognize uh, what ink i will be using so first uh, you can recognize what ink used by the invigilator and here some number will be there okay this number the the the, the teachers they will get while going for uh, 
uh, registration, CBSE registration, the teachers, they will get this number. Of course, the school will provide this number, they will get, and blue ink will be used by the invigilators. Next uh, ink uh, I am writing here. So this is the signature and here also some number will be there. So here signature, you can see what ink is used by the evaluator, red ink. Next time using coordinator and here some number will be there. You can recognize what is the ink is used by the coordinator. Then finally, observer and observer also number will be there. So now finally ink also you could uh, recognize uh, that one of the ink will be used by the uh, different uh, officers uh, for the evaluation. I hope it is clear. So I don't want to make this video very long uh, so that it will not be bored for you. So once again, I thank you for supporting me. Huh. Yes, uh, so I want to tell you something. So sometimes if students are not writing anything in the box, suppose they are darkening the circle and they're leaving the box, of course, it will not be evaluated and don't uh, write anything there because this is the work of the students our duty to uh, do evaluate the answer sheet okay and uh, remember uh, the observer also will be there while, uh, during the evaluation only the red ink, red mark red red pen will be there with the evaluators no other uh, color invigilator they will finish and they will go to their home evaluators they will evaluate and the coordinator evaluator coordinator and observer they will be uh, there uh, till the end and remaining process is there so next uh, uh, how to pack and what are the things will be in the parcel it is coming in uh, the next video so i hope all of you understood and if anything is there you can write in the comment box immediately i will reply to answer so thank you once again uh, i thank you uh, for supporting me namaskar